It's part of being human to ask uh, why we exist. Questioning distinguishes us uh, from the animals. It's uh, to, to ask uh, uh, why we're here. So I repeat, and uh, this is a commonplace uh, in science, science uh, has nothing to say about it. that science can't tell us uh, why uh, we're here, and then uh, in the next minute, uh, uh, trying to say that it does. Now, science over the centuries has gradually pieced together answers <clears throat> to those questions. Why in that sense? It's true that there are still some gaps, but surely, Cardinal, you're not going to fall for the god of the gaps trap, that, um, that religion is going to fill in those gaps which science has so far not yet answered. If we traipse over the line, you know, religious people can become scientific and test their own hypothesis because science will do it eventually. They're happy to do it if they're good scientists. Is it going to be peer reviewed by them? I'd question that. Nonetheless, if they're actually following procedures, okay, then we can test it again, right? Because anyone in science, anyone can test anything. That's why you do it, right? It doesn't matter who you are. Or, you know, they talk about this is in secular records, that's in secular records, and you look at secular records, it's not there. You know, and you get to realize, wait a minute, they completely made all this stuff up and, you know, keep saying scientists says this and scientists says that. But scientists didn't say this or say that. So that's how my transformation started, you know, from searching for the truth and um, couldn't find it in religion. But I think they create the word religion now to keep us segregated. Um, and it's that hope that encourages people to move on. So you may find a lot of smaller churches or a lot of churches in the less advantaged communities for a couple of reasons. One, for that, because you have a lot of people who feel hopeless, right, helpless or worthless, right? And they are looking for something that can provide them with hope. Religion is like plagiarism. It's like a sponge. It, 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 it absorbs what's already there. Religion is basically a safe house for a desperate soul looking for redemption of themselves, you know, and forgiveness of themselves. And to uh, the another um, younger uh, generation. So what happened, they're sort of a turned off. You know, they're turned off of God, they're turned off of the, of the church because um, they think that um, all the church is after, you know, is their money. From my perspective, I see, I see it like my generation, like more advertisement. You be on Facebook, well, I hate to bring it up, but like this is in my generation. You go to Facebook or Instagram, you see a picture of Jesus. Oh, if you scroll, if you scroll away from this, something bad will happen. If you tag it, some, some good will happen in the next couple seconds. Stupidness like that, like. Like wow, who like who who comes up with these things? Like <laughs> it's such it's crazy. It's real crazy. <laughs> I think there's still hope. I know there's still hope. Because it's a saying that goes, a church without young people is a dying church. I do see churches with young people. Religion will die out. Religion will die out. I can almost promise you that. 